Okay, here's a little update on the uh, Little Jewel Thief uh, project. Uh, it's going on four days, and I don't think it's going to stop probably for a number of more days. And um, every morning I get up and I change these two batteries back and forth. And uh, one's at one point such and such, and one's a little less, and then I change them back, and they flip-flop back and forth on voltage. So what's happening is this thing is running at about 10 milliamps, and as it runs through that, it's pumping energy back into this. Now this is not free energy. This is not um, something where you're getting something for free. It's just very, very efficient use of joules of energy that are coming out of the drive battery. And um, this was Kubikop's idea. This is a jewel thief uh, circuit that he figured out that you could put another battery in this system, put a double pull, double throw switch on it if you want to put it in a box, and then uh, run that light using the two batteries back and forth, back and forth for a longer time than if you just had the one battery running it. And I uh, redid the circuit. Uh, this was my rendition of it here, but it's the same thing. But what I did today Actually, I started on it yesterday. Was this was so efficient and it was working so well that I boxed it. And when I had, and when I when I box something, that means I'm confident enough to make a a real unit out of it. And that's the Jewel Thief boxed right there. And uh, that's the whole thing in a box. And what is right there is a double pull, double throw switch that you flip that back and forth every day. And then there's a little uh, brightness control right there. That's the potentiometer for the base. But that's my little boxed jewel thief. And I'm just going to let that guy run and see what happens. But this is, uh, like I say, this is Kubikop's idea. And he's built one already that the switch failed on it. And so I'm going to see if there's something wrong with using a switch on this. If you have to actually physically change the batteries, I don't see why you would. But... Uh, I'm just going to let this run, and then every day I'm going to flip that switch right there back and forth um, every day and just see how long it runs. Um, the batteries are inside that little box right there, and I rewired that battery holder for both batteries. But, uh, yeah, this little guy here, that's a winner. You know, that, that little thing right there. Um, at night, believe it or not, when it's dark, it's just like a bright night light, and it's kind of nice to have something that you don't turn on or turn off. It just runs by itself um, day and night and day and night, and probably once a week you'd charge the batteries on this thing. You just have to remember to flip the switch every day, and the way my switch is set up, it has a an off in the middle, and you turn it back on going the other direction. And that's the other battery. And like I say, that's the brightness control right there. I have mine turned way down for long run time. But uh, yeah, that's a little uh, little jewel thief. That uh, I had a lot of fun with this. And like I say, this thing's. I'm just gonna let this run and run and run until it stops. And I would imagine it's gonna be several more days. And I've never had anything run over a hundred hours. And this has already run over a hundred hours on just these two pin light cells. These are. 2100 milliamp 1.2 volt nickel metal hydride pin light cells and like I say I've got this dialed down and the meter that I'm using it's not very good but it indicates about 10 milliamp draw on this and uh, like I say it's coming out of a dry battery and then going through the LED system and then dumping into the the uh, charge battery so we'll just let this guy go and see what happens. This little jewel thief, uh, pretty darn impressive.